Our 10 News School of the Week, powered by Duke Energy Florida, is Layla G. Davis Elementary in Pinellas County. And we had a crew out at the school yesterday. Yep. They caught the scholars in action in the classroom. Great stuff. In their element, right? Yes. Okay, so while they were out there, they grabbed a couple of weather questions, and here's one of them. Good morning. My name is Claire Keaton. I'm a fourth grade scholar at Davis Elementary. My weather question is, what tools and technology do you use to collect the information to predict the weather? Great question. A lot of tools, a lot of instruments that we use, and you got to think about it as tools to come up with our forecast. And I will tell you, and this is where, where you at home really come in and help us as meteorologists. One of the best ways to know what's happening around our area is by getting these visual observations. So that's key, and that's why we always turn to you and ask for your reports during severe weather outbreaks or any just regular weather events. Let us know what's happening on the ground. Those ground truth observations are so key. So that, that's a big one. But when we don't have somebody out there to get those ground visual observations, we use automated surface observation systems, and we turn that into an acronym. We call them ASOS stations. And there's, in fact, 900 of these stations spread across the entire nation. So I can sit in the Weather Center, and I can tap into all these weather stations all over the country, in fact, all over the world, and get an idea of what's coming upstream and what could be heading our way. Another tool, the radar. You knew this. We, we see this. We use it almost every single day. Sometimes it's just as important to see what's not out there as it is to see what's out there. The radar tracking the precipitation and then of course one of the myriad of instruments that we use specifically though during hurricane season we use the hurricane hunters and they're able to get those observations from a hurricane so we can better forecast what's heading our way.